How you feeling today, Charles? Dennis said in greeting to his friend early the next morning. I'm fine. How about you? Charles asked as he came around the wooden back deck and had his seat. You're out and about pretty early today, Charles. I was just about to make some coffee. Do you want some? Dennis said, pointing at an odd gadget he had set up on the picnic table. What in the world is that? Charles said, standing up and going over to the deck's railing for a closer look. Isn't that cool as hell? It's a Sun Rocket solar kettle. You've seen it before, but probably didn't know exactly what it was when it was closed up. I had it hanging off a backpack when I went to the beach last summer, Dennis said, pointing at the unique device. Come on and I'll show you how it works. That's one useful gadget, let me tell you, if you have some strong sun to work with. Check this out. It's a solar thermos and kettle in one. It's really pretty ingenious. The sun rocket is an amazing way to heat and boil water by simply using sunlight. Depending on the weather conditions, the sun rocket can heat water in as little as 60 minutes, and this thing will work anywhere the sun shines. You see, they use a shock-resistant evacuated tube, just like the ones on expensive roof-mount solar hot water systems, boosted by reflective panels to absorb solar heat. I like it because it's so portable. When opened, it can heat water in as little as 30 minutes, the company says, and then when closed, it can keep hot for hours. The contents only come in contact with pure, clean glass, making it safe and healthy to use. It holds 17 ounces of water and weighs about 2 pounds, Dennis said, explaining some of the wonderful features the device had. That's pretty neat. Who did you say makes that? Charles said, examining the solar kettle closer. It's made by a company called Sun Cooking, who is Australia's largest retailer of solar cooking products and accessories. They make all kinds of things using the latest in solar thermal technology. Remind me to show you a solar oven later. Let's go get you a cup and get ready for some coffee. I need it this morning, Dennis declared and started heading toward the back door. Before you do that, I wanted to tell you that Monica's brother Floyd came in last night from Birmingham, Charles said, watching Dennis stop in his tracks and give him an inquiring look. Floyd had recently got a job about 85 miles away from Dennis, working in the big city, doing IT work after a long spell of unemployment. The reason for Dennis's questioning look, Charles was sure, was one of a bit of trepidation. Dennis and he had not planned on having an extra mouth to feed, and Dennis's preps were going to be stretched thin as it was. Ah, oh, hell. We gotta play adopt-a-puppy then? Dennis questioned. He liked Floyd well enough on normal days, and they had talked a bit of prepping in the past, but having him suddenly thrust in their midst with little to no preps of his own sort of freaked Dennis out a bit. He'll most likely be moving in with me eventually. He's going to stay in that old trailer down at the trailer park for a while first, though, Charles said thoughtfully. Floyd and Monica had inherited an older three-bedroom trailer and had not sold it yet. It was parked in a mobile home park about ten miles away from Dennis, and Floyd had stayed there until he took his new job. Dennis and Charles looked at each other for a moment, with neither one of them wishing to talk first. Charles finally broke the silence by assuring Dennis that it would be all right, and they would all muddle through somehow. I guess you're right, Charles. We can certainly use his help on a lot of projects, but he's a pretty big boy with an appetite to match, Dennis said, stating the obvious. Look, Dennis, I'm not asking you to feed him much. It's not fair at all to you to take on so many people. Monica and I will share rations with him and we'll just have to make do and hunt more to make up the difference, Charles suggested. That sounds agreeable now, but we don't have our bellies trying to touch our backbones yet. There's going to be some jealousy issues as well as other emotions going on amongst us all soon enough over food, Dennis said, trying to foresee some of the squabbles that might go on over sharing the least little thing. I got it under control. You just tell me how you want things done and we'll do them that way, Charles declared in a voice that said he was the patriarch of that side of our little tribe. I know you do, buddy, 